Here's something I see more often than I would like to, and it would be a beam, a large glue lamb beam. This thing's got to be 30 foot long, dying into an existing 4x12 roof rafter. Now the roof rafter is probably designed to carry the roof and the load of the roof and the ceiling, whatever it was originally designed for, I can guarantee you that it wasn't designed to carry the weight of this large beam. Now in a moment you're going to see another view of the beam, the other side of it. Here we go. Now you can see it's bolted on. There's not a large hanger that's holding it up. And again, this thing's probably been up there for 10, 15, 20 years, and it's not creating a problem. I just wanted to make a point and say that some of this stuff that I've seen, like this right here, isn't structurally engineered. Um, it can't carry the weight. It's not designed for it. Now, when I say it can't carry the weight, obviously this thing is. So um, what am I going to do, argue with you? I can't. You know, here's a good example of something that uh, most engineers say wouldn't work, but it does. Um, but what I'm saying is that it does for right now. Who knows what's going to happen later on? So use a little caution, throw a little common sense in there next time you uh, think about do doing something like this um, to your home. So again, this is a large beam with a lot of weight. Um, and who really knows what's going to happen down the road. This thing could last 20, another 20, 30 years, um, but it obviously wasn't designed for the building. It wasn't designed to be attached to the existing house in this manner.